If you'd like to learn a very easy no-gi takedown, stay tuned and watch this short video. Hi, my name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net and today I'll show you a very easy no-gi takedown which is actually a modified judo takedown called Kochi Makekomi. Take a look. Here's how the throw looks like modified for no-gi. Before I break down the throw, I'll show you how it's done with the gi and why we must modify it in order for it to work in no-gi situations. The main problem is that we cannot use the same arm position in no gi as we did in gi. To be more precise, you shouldn't even use this arm position if you do BJJ. You can only use it if you do judo because the rules will allow you to get away with it, while in BJJ or grappling you will most likely get your back taken after you complete the throw. And of course we don't want that. So the arm will not go under the armpit as if you wanted to go for seo inage but you will underhook with it. Your starting position will be over under. There are two key points for this takedown. The first one is to create a deception. What do I mean by that? Deception in this case means making your opponent believe that you are going to throw him forward while the actual throw will be done backward. You create this deception or a feint by pulling your opponent towards you and slightly upwards, looking as if you wanted to throw him forward, but the body will not turn together with the head. This is crucial. If the body turns, you will not have enough time to execute the throw. So you create a feint with your arms and head and when the opponent reacts by lowering his center of gravity and pushing the hips forward, you take him down backward. Simple as that. Most people will react in this way, so the takedown will be there for the taking. And the second key point is to establish base quickly after the takedown. If you don't do that, there is a possibility of getting butterfly swept and that is not what you want. If you get the takedown, you want the top position as well. So as soon as you take him down, establish a strong base. Get the inside control as well. That means placing your palms on your opponent's biceps and your head on his chest. That will prevent any submission attempts. If you like this video, please like it and share it on Facebook. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on this big red box here. My name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net and I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm looking forward to seeing you in another video again very soon.